and opposition leader Juan Guaido is moving to assume power, urging the military leadership in Venezuela to abandon Nicolas Maduro and support democracy. American officials are watching the developments ongoing in Caracas right now, protests, counter-protests, and what appears to be a violent attempt by security forces to scatter the crowd. Venezuela's military leadership has largely supported Maduro, and Maduro says today they still support him. Guaido's ambassador to the United States says this is only the beginning and that there will be more events in the hours and the days to come. I want to be very clear for the international community. This is not a military coup. This is a constitutional process led by the Venezuelan people under the leadership of a civilian, the interim president of Venezuela, Juan Guaido. National Security Advisor John Bolton tweeted, quote, Venezuelans have made clear that the current path toward democracy is irreversible. Venezuela's military has a choice, embrace democracy, protect civilians and members of the democratically elected National Assembly, or face more man-made suffering and isolation. Maduro's foreign minister, Jorge Ariaza, replied to Bolton saying, quote, the heads of the coup d'etat admit their responsibility without scruples. The Trump administration, in its despair, attempts to spark an internal conflict in Venezuela. Venezuela's democratic institutions guarantee peace in the country. Trump hands off Venezuela. In January, the United States officially recognized Juan Guaido as Venezuela's legitimate leader. The administration then sanctioned Venezuela's state oil company, officials in the Maduro regime, and those who support it. The administration has also tried to bring aid to the Venezuelan people, with Guaido leading the effort, all in an attempt to establish Guaido's legitimacy. Though Maduro has also had the support not just of the military, but of the Cuban and the Russian governments. So if Maduro were to fall, there is still a question as to what comes next. The United States is hoping that there is a transitional government led by Juan Guaido. There are then elections and then democracy in that country. But there is a lot between where we are right now and that point.